Today's lesson is about accents and using accents to spice up your drum fills and grooves. When you're moving across the drum set, you usually lead with that front hand. So if I'm moving to the right, I lead with my right hand. And if I move to the left, I lead with the left hand. And you can hear that the first hit uh, on each drum that I'm doing as I'm following the beat, it's slightly louder. That's the accent. On you go. That'll, that creates a, a, a pulse that, that drives through your rhythm. So, I'm constantly using my right hand to accent right on the beat of the tempo, and that creates some more forward momentum that drives with it. Same thing you can do with a, a groove that you're playing. So you can hear on the hi-hat, I'm following the, the bass drum and accenting with it. And that's how you create more of a dynamics inside the groove. So that's following an accent that lines up right with the tempo. And now you don't always have to do that. Uh, my, my fills are um, using 16th notes here, so that's four hits per quarter note, per beat, per click on your metronome. That's 16th notes. Accenting right on the quarter note each time. That's always with my right hand when you're playing 16th notes, my lead hand. But I don't always have to accent with the right hand. Sometimes you can accent with the left hand, and it gives it uh, an interesting dynamic. Almost it sounds like triplets, but it really isn't because you're staying in 16th notes. In the inside the 16th notes, if we're counting it 1, E, and A, uh, instead of accenting just on the number, 1E and a 2E and a 3E and a 4E and a... We're accenting on the 1 and the E. One, sorry, the 1 and the A. 1E and da. 1E and da. 2E and da. 3E and da. And that's how you create that... That... Back and forth. You're, you're dancing in between the, the quarter notes instead of right on with it. Sometimes you accent with the right hand, sometimes you accent with the left hand. Experiment with that. Now, depend, depending on how, um, what note you're using and how fast you're moving across the drum set, your accent might happen on different drums, and you're still leading with that front hand. So uh, you don't want to try and get caught over with your hands trying to cross over like that. So if you're going... Constantly keeping uh, an open stance, an open uh, face to the drum set. The, the only time I would cross over is when, if you're playing in a, in a closed stance for the hi-hat when you're doing a groove. You can also do open stance at that. So It's up to your preference, really. But experiment with accenting certain hands and you can come up with some neat grooves. Mm -hmm.